Hello, it's Gem Games here once again, and in this episode we are going to add the power switch so we can turn on the power to the perk machines, for example. Okay, so uh, actually first let's fix a little glitch that I noticed. So now when we buy the perk, I will show you guys. When we buy it, it will still say we can buy it. It doesn't say already in use as it's supposed to say. So let's fix that. That's easy fix. Let's go to the perk machine blueprint and to the is interactable get details. And here where we have this interact index, we want to connect the uh, perk index to that, nothing else. So now it knows. Let's compile and save and let's try it now. It should work. So now when I, when I buy this, already in use, as you can see. Okay, it's working. Now let's start add, adding the, the switch or the lever. Okay, you want to go to the link in the description. It takes you to my Google Drive and there you can find the power switch folder. You can open it and you want to download all these files. And I actually want to show you this uh, switch is made by this guy, Sam Feng. I downloaded this from, from here, from Sketchfab. And yeah, you can check this, guy, this guy's uh, profile out if you want. Okay, let's get to the work. So let's go to the <coughs> drops folder and let's create a new folder here. Let's call it power switch. Now let's open it and let's uh, add all those files that we downloaded. Okay, let's check that, imp that the import uniform scale is 1 and let's press import all. Okay, now what we need to do, we need to open this power switch material. Move it a little bit and let's move it to here, to the uh, window panel. Let's delete this. And let's go to the first person map. Let's get all three of these textures. So base, metallic and power. And you can multi-select the stuff with control uh, pressed. Okay. And now we want to move it to the power switch material. And now we just want to connect the base to the base color. Uh, this is metallic. So we want to connect this to metallic. And this is normal. I'm going to connect it to the normal, like that. Apply. Uh, what happened? Okay, and save. Now we can actually close this drill. And now you can see these are both set and ready to go. So now we want to go to the interactables folder and we have this base interactable let's duplicate it and let's call it power switch something like that and actually let's add a bp underscore to the start but actually now that i think i have added uh, we want to add it to, to the perk machine also so uh, let's add it here bp underscore machine also on the power ups okay maybe they don't need to have those but yeah you can add, add to that pp to all of this also if you want but yeah now we have this uh, power switch let's open it and let's go to the viewport and we can delete this cube and now what we want to do here so first we want to add a uh, static mesh and let's call this panel, for example. Let's search for panel, power switch panel, like that. Okay, here we have it. Now we want to add a scene. So, scene. Let's call this pivot. And now we want to move it to the location, to location Y to 10. Okay, now it's aligned perfectly. I will actually change this camera speed a little bit lower. Okay, now it's aligned perfectly with this. Okay, 
Now to the pivot, let's click it. Uh, let's add a, another static mesh. Let's call this uh, switch. Now let's search for switch power switch handle. Actually, let's rename this to handle. And as you can see, it's here. Okay, it's all good. Let's compile and save. Now let's go to the event graph. And what we want to do here, we want to actually, let's actually first check all of these can interact. Here, we want to set it to true. And on the oh, is indirectable get details, we want to set this to this to let's promote this type to a variable like that. And text, let's change this text to turn on power. Okay. And we don't have to do anything else here. Let's compile and save. Now let's go back to the event graph. And here, what we want to do is we want to delete all of these and we want to get that on interact event here. Okay, so now from here we want to get this type and we want to set it. And we want to set it to empty. Then we want to create a new uh, custom event. Let's call this power on, for example. Oh. Power on. And now from here we can call that. Power on, like that. Compile and save. Now here, what we want to do, we want to actually move it a little bit further down. And now we want to get a time timeline. And we want to connect this to the play from start, like that. Now let's rename this timeline to switch TL, for example. Now let's open it and let's set the time or the length to 0.5. Let's add a flow track. Now, let's add a key to zero, zero uh, time and zero value, and also key to value one and time 0.5. Like that, let's click this. So now we can see it here on the screen. Now what we want to do, or actually I want to do, you don't have to do this if you don't want, but I will add some like smoothing here. And now I want to make this user and turn it like this. So basically now the switch, uh, actually, I, I'm going to show you. Okay, let's compile and save. Now we can close this. Uh, we can go to the event graph. And here on the, on the event graph, what we want to do, we want to get this pivot, not this handle, but pivot. And we want to set relative rotation. And from the update, we want to set it. And now from the new rotation, we want to lerp. And here from the uh, lerp, we want to connect this new track to the alpha and click the sorter path. And now we want to set this B to 180. Sorry, the X rotation on the B to 180. Nothing else we don't have to set here. Okay, compile and save. Now if we go and try, actually we have to add it to the map first. And let's actually move this perk machine a little bit close. Actually not, it's good there. It's good there. Now let's get this. Let's uh, put it to here, for example. So now if we go to play and we turn that power on, you can see it goes like that. That's uh, why we added that smoothing there. So it's a little bit slower on the start and, and then it goes faster. Yeah, it looks a little bit more natural. Okay, now it works. Now let's add the functionality so it turns on all the uh, perk machines on the map. Okay, and actually we will add some event dispatcher that you can set to any light or any trap or anything that we're gonna use. So it will like turn all those things on that you have set it to. Okay, so next thing. 
we want to do is we actually want to go to the pp perk machine okay uh, let's close this is interactable now and now here we have this event craft on the event craft we want to here on the picking play We actually want to delete this power switch from here and let's move it further up. Now from here we want to get the get all actors of class. Now we want to get the power switch, pp power switch. Let's align this. And now from here we want to get and at this part we have the copal so we can see the results. Uh, here we want to find event actually sorry uh, we have to create that event first so let's go back to pp power switch so let's scroll to the bottom we have event dispatchers let's create a new one and let's call this turn on power okay and uh, we don't have to do anything else here right now let's compile and save and now let's go back to the pp perk machine and from here we want to bind event to turn on power and you want to select the bind event because there are multiple of these turn on power events so bind okay and now after this what we want to do here we want to create a custom event and let's call this power on event for example let's move it to here and now what we want to do we want to call that power switch now what we have to do make this true like that okay so basically i can tell you what we're doing so on the begin play we are getting the event dispatcher and we are binding it to this event so when we play the event here on the power switch it plays this which plays this power switch and it does at the uh, it turns the power on on all the machines okay so now on the bb power switch what we want to do here is simple we want to just from the uh finished here we want to get the turn on power and we want to call that and finish and let's align it with the lerp and now what we want to do we want to get all widgets of class let's move this a little bit further up and also that okay and now we want to get our player hud the player hud and from here we want to get and now we have to compile actually we want to go to the player hud for a quick second so let's go to the hud folder and to the player hud and now let's go to the graph and let's find our power actually something is missing here hmm we'll actually have to check compile results results like that okay i thought something was missing okay now it's better it looks looked somehow empty but yeah let's find the uh, power up set text set so let's actually call this uh, announce meant i don't know if that uh written correctly announcement text set okay and let's actually change this input just to text now which i think it's it's easier to remember okay let's compile and save let's say well now we can close this and here we have the call that function so announcement text set like this connect it to here and now the text let's put here for example power power on something like that let's compile save and save all and now actually a few more things so let's go to the pp first person character and let's go to our on interact so 
here at the top where we have this interact, what we want to do here, we want to copy display animation thing here. And we want to paste it to here after this. Okay, so, and we are now here on the interact. And this animation is the interact asset, like that. Okay, that's done. Now what we want to do, we want to go to the power up slot. Let's open it. And here we have this add anim. Let's actually rename this to power up anim. Okay, now what we want to do, uh, we actually have to go to the graph. We can move this a little bit further. And we want to get this off and cut this link, alt and left click. And in animation, we want to get a select node. And now we want to change this to Boolean and we want to promote it to a variable. And this variable should be called perk. So it checks if it's perk or not. And if it's not, we want to call this power up animation like that. And if it's true, we want to, we have to first create the perk animation, but yeah. And now we want to click this perk. We want to make it instance editable and expose on spawn. Compile and save. Now let's go to the designer. Let's click the icon and add animations. And let's call this perk anim. Let's click it. Let's add a icon and let's add a transform track. Now the scale, we want to set it to 1.2 and the Y 1.2 and let's go to the half second. So 0.5, let's set them to one, one. Okay, and that can be it for now. Let's compile and save. Now let's go back to the graph and now let's get the perk anim like that. Now what we have to do here is um, we actually want to go to the PP. I'm not actually sure where we have to go. I will have to check quickly. So add perk, uh, update perks. Okay, we actually have to go to the uh, player hut. So you want to go to the player hut and to the update perks. Yeah, update perks uh, function. And here on the create power up, actually, we are at the wrong. Oh, yeah, 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 we are at the right. Okay, uh, create power up slot widget. Here we want to set this perk to true, nothing else. You don't have to do anything else. So let's compile and save. Let's save all and let's actually try see if it works. So now that machine doesn't have any light and it needs power. Okay, and when we turn on the power, power on, and now you can see it turns on. Okay, and we can buy it, but we need some more money. Off. So let's try again my Unreal Crest. So we need the power, power on. It's power still because it's not turned on. Now it is, but we can't buy it yet because we don't have money. Now we have the money and we buy it. It will say already in use and we can buy it. And actually, I don't know if you guys saw, but we have some animation when the perk adds. So let's try once more. Okay, let's make it full screen. Now, we want to, oh, sorry, what did I do? Okay, I want to check at this part of the screen. So yeah, we have some animation when it adds. And yeah. I think that was all for this video. If you like what you saw, please click the like button and subscribe if you want to continue watching this series. And hope you have a great day and see you on the next one. Bye.